I am Ilze B and I teach Latvian for English speakers. Today I'll teach you some Latvian word combinations that contain compounds. What is a compound? I actually have a cheat sheet on my website that lists and explains all linguistic terms that I mention in these short video lessons and I invite you to download it. But I will explain the compound. The compound is a word that is made up of two other words. Some examples of English compounds are railroad, therefore, and runaway. So, the compound railroad is made up of the words rails and road. The compound therefore is made up of the two words there and for. And the compound runaway is made up of the words to run and way. And it means the way where to run. So, as I said, I'll be teaching you a couple of Latvian word combinations that contain compounds. And I will teach them to you in the context of the fall equinox, which occurs on the September the 22nd. What happens on the equinox is that the length of the day is the same as the length of the night. Therefore, the word equinox also is a compound. It means equal night. For us, in the Northern Hemisphere, the September equinox marks the beginning of fall, with daylight hours continuing to shorten until the winter solstice in December. For those in the Southern Hemisphere, it is the beginning of spring. In Latvian, we use the word Saulgriež to talk about both equinox and solstice, although there is also a word equinoxia in Latvian, but I won't discuss it here because it is a foreignism. The word saulgriež is the first Latvian compound that I'd like you to learn today. It is made up of two words, saule, which means the sun, and griesties which means to turn. If we wanted to say the sun is turning, it would be saule griežas. So here you see the letter ž in the word griežas. In the word griežas you don't see it. So once more the Latvian for the sun is turning is saule griežas. And the Latvian for solstice and equinox is saulgrieži, which means that there is a turning point in the nature related to the sun. When we talk about fall equinox in Latvian, we say rudens saulgrieži. Rudens means fall or autumn. And then we add the word saulgrieži, and we get rudens saulgrieži. You already know about the Latvian midsummer solstice, which is a big thing in Latvian culture. And Latvians actually mark the fall equinox too. You know that midsummer solstice is related to two popular Latvian names. Liga and Janis. The fall equinox is related to the male name Michelis. The name Michelis is celebrated at around this time in Latvia. Most of you know that Latvians celebrate name days. If our parents have given us Latvian names that are included in the Latvian name day calendar, then we have another day to celebrate, a part of our birthdays. The name day of Michelis falls on September the 29th, 
It is a little shifted from the time of the real fall equinox and I believe it occurred due to the changes in the calendar over the time. But my point is that actually we can say that another word for Rudens Saulgrieži is Mitteldiena. This word is made up of two words. Mitteli, which is the plural form of the name Mitelis, and Diena, which means a day. Once more, that word is Mitteldiena. And one of the Latvian traditions for Mitteldiena is to have an annual fair where farmers and craftsmen sell their products. Such annual fairs in Latvian is called Mitteldienas Gada Tirgus. The word that I have added to the word Mitteldiena is Gada Tirgus. The word Gada Tirgus is made up of two words, Gads and Tirgus. Gads means a year, but Gada means annual. The other word is Tirgus, which means a market. Once more, it's Gada Tirgus. You can Google the word combination Mitteldienas Gada Tirgus and you'll get to see some cool pictures from those fall fairs in Latvia. But now I'll sum up what I talked about in this video. Number one, a compound is a word that is made up of two other words. Equinox is a compound that means equal night. The Latvian for fall equinox is rudens saulgrieži. Another word for rudens saulgrieži is a compound mitteldiena. And one of Latvian traditions still maintained until nowadays is the annual fair that is called Mitteldienas Gada Tirgus. If you liked this video and thought it was useful, please click like and share it with others. If you'd like to see all this in writing, check out my website because I just posted an article about the things that I discussed in this video. Bye-bye, Ata! Till the next time.